What's up guys? So I'm continuing my looks at the two new DLC characters for Dragon Ball Fighters. Yesterday we talked about Android 17. Make sure to check that video out if you haven't. Today we're talking about Cooler. Uh, so far I have found Cooler to be a very entertaining character to play. He's fairly simple. He's not like a really tricky, crazy mix-up character like Android 17 is. He's mostly reliant on some huge, big normals, some pretty solid damage, and some good utility. So First, let's talk about a couple of Cooler's command normals. He has two of them. So one is down forward plus heavy. So he's got his normal launcher with down heavy. Uh, you know, like every character, that's going to be like a pretty good anti-air. Uh, but he's also got this one with down forward heavy, where he travels across the screen. And if it hits, you do get a super dash off it. So that's kind of nice. And the other notable thing about this move is that it goes through projectiles. Uh, so if the opponent is doing a beam or something, uh, you can just go straight through it with this down forward plus heavy. So uh, that makes that a really cool move, really useful for closing the gap and getting in. Uh, his other command normal is forward plus heavy. Very similar to Cell. It's pretty much just a low stomp. It does hit low. Uh, so this is pretty useful for you know extending your block strings, adding an extra low to the end of them, since you know a lot of times... After people see low medium, they tend to not want to block low anymore, but this will catch them. So he doesn't have a low hitting down light, but he does have this extra little low that you can throw in at the end to mix people up a little bit better. The other two really notable normals for this character, we got jumping medium and we got down medium. These are just crazy. I mean, the range is absolutely absurd on these boys, and you can confirm from like a mile away. Um... It's kind of like Android 21, where you might have to change up your strings a little bit. You know, if you're in the habit of doing down medium, stand medium, jump medium, light, light, like that, into a launcher. It's worth noting that from long range, that's not going to work. You can see the jab is going to whiff. So get in the habit of going straight into launcher. His air launcher just has absurd range. As you can see, it hits from so far away. So if you're hitting with just the tip of that tail... Make sure to go straight from jump medium into air launcher if you want to get that combo. So this move is really, really crazy. And jump medium as well. You know, if the opponent is like in an air tech situation, you can tech chase them with jump medium pretty well. And, you know, like I said, that just goes into a launcher from like a mile away. So pretty useful moves. And uh, a lot of screen control comes from these medium attacks. So I'm a big fan of that. Uh, moving right along, let's talk about his special moves. So he's got this dive kick, quarter circle forward, plus attack. Primarily, this seems like a combo ender. I can't find much other use. It is an overhead, notably. So if the enemy is uh, blocking low, uh, they will get hit by the dive kick. So that's kind of handy. There's an interesting protection built into this move. If you try to call an assist and do dive kick, you can see the assist actually goes away. The assist will not come out during the dive kick. I'm not exactly sure what the reason for that is. Uh, maybe they just felt that it was too good of a tactic in neutral to call an assist and do the dive kick to force them to block the assist. Or maybe it enabled some kind of crazy combos or something. But either way, it just doesn't work. You cannot, you cannot have an assist going while this dive kick is happening. The assist just won't work. So that's important to note. But like I mentioned, this is a good uh, combo ender. So... You know, stuff like this. You can go straight into the dive kick to bring them back down to the ground. Uh, it's not a sliding knockdown, except for the heavy version. Heavy version is a sliding knockdown, so that's pretty nice. You can use that to get a sliding knockdown off of something like a vanish. There you go. You get a nice sliding knockdown mid-screen for one meter, so that's not bad at all. Uh, his other special move is quarter circle back plus attack. And that is this uppercut. So this is frame one invincible if he's the point character. So as you can see, it'll just go completely through everything. So you can use that to hit the opponent. Uh, the uppercut does have follow-ups too. If you press light, he'll throw the opponent behind him. If you press medium, he'll throw the opponent in front of him. So if you're in the corner, uh, once again, you can use this to get a sliding knockdown. Use the medium follow-up. And it'll throw him down in the corner, and then you can get a nice little tech chase there. Uh, so that's pretty good as well. And also, obviously, this is good for getting people off of you. And then you can vanish afterwards. 
Uh, seems quite good to me. Uh, the uppercut is also Cooler's assist, and it maintains its invincibility properties. Based on my testing, it's actually completely invincible. Uh, I have not been able to get it to be beat out in training mode. Um, obviously, if your point character gets hit, the assist will stop coming out and then get hit. But if you're blocking, the assist is just going to go through everything. So it seems really good to me. It's fairly easy to use it for combo extensions as well. You know, it doesn't knock them too high. You can generally get a little uh, jump into a launcher afterwards. So I would say it's a pretty solid assist. It's not amazing, but it uh, gets the job done. I would say it's a little bit above average for an assist. Uh, and as for his other two special moves, he does have a beam. Quarter circle forward plus key. He can do it in the air as well. As you can see, it is very, very slow to come out. One of the slowest beams in the game. But, you know, it's multiple hits. It beats Dragon Rush. Can't really complain too much about it. Obviously, off of Vanish, you can get a nice little combo. So that's handy. Uh, and then he's got another projectile quarter circle back plus key. Uh, this is a full screen low hitting attack. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if the enemy is, you know, stand blocking, this will catch their toes. And you can go into a nice little combo from that. Uh, I also like this move a lot. Just for uh, block string situations. So like I mentioned, he does get that extra low with forward plus heavy. And then you can add another low again with this. With the three lows in a row, a lot of people are going to eventually, you know, start holding jump or start holding stand block. And they will get hit by that. So that's pretty handy. Uh, I think this move is actually really good for those kinds of situations. So Cooler's projectile game is really nothing to sneeze at, but I think generally you are going to be trying to get in the opponent's face with this character. Uh, let's talk briefly about his supers. So similar to Android 17, he's got a ground super, which is this one, and it changes position. It pushes the opponent out of the corner, as you can see. So do be careful about that, ending your combos with that in the corner. It is going to take them out of the corner. He also has an air super which does not take them out of the corner. Uh, this one is pretty nice because any combo that you're doing, if you end it uh, with this DP, you can go straight into this super, so that's pretty nice. Uh, and then he's got a very interesting level 3. If you do level 3 on the ground, it's a counter. So uh, if the opponent hits you while you're in this level 3 state, you'll do a nice little counter. It does a pretty good grip of damage. And it's worth noting that this counter is fast. It's very, very fast. And if the opponent is doing, like, a safe jump situation after a level 3 or something that would normally beat an uppercut, this level 3 will hit them out of it. You cannot safe jump this level 3. Uh, so that's pretty important. Uh, and this works against pretty much everything as well. It will work against uh, beams and stuff like that. Even from, like, full screen... That's pretty nuts, right? And it even works against supers, if you can believe that. Is that cool or what? It's it's pretty handy. Again, even level 3s, it works against, like, everything. Uh, this is a really, really crazy counter, so I think it's pretty cool. The only thing that it will not work against is dragon rushes. So you can see you can get thrown right out of it. Uh, but other than that, it does pretty much beat everything. So it's a pretty cool super. It's really the only one of its kind in the game, which I think is neat. Uh, and then in the air, he's got a different super. He's got a throw, actually. So this is pretty easy to combo into off of, like, everything, you know? And it does pretty good damage, so that's handy. And uh, you can also use it, you know, just as a throw to mix the opponent up. So, for example, you know, if you get a corner combo and you want to tech chase them, you think they're going to tech up off the ground, uh, you can use this to catch them. And it's pretty nice for that as well. But I think primarily this is going to be a combo ender. So in situations like that, you can combo into it pretty easily, and it's going to do a lot of damage, and you get a nice little hard knockdown. This one also switches sides as well, but even mid-screen, you do get a pretty good setup afterward. So that seems like a good super as well. Overall, I think a really good suite of supers for Cooler, and you have a lot of options due to the fact that uh, you do have air and ground supers for both your level 1 and your level 3. So that's about it for his moves. In terms of strategy for Cooler, in terms of characters that you're going to want to pair him with, 
Uh, I think lockdown assists are very useful for him. You know, if you can create a situation where uh, you force your opponent to block, you know, with these extra lows and stuff, that's where you're going to be able to create a lot of mix-ups. Even though he doesn't have that low hitting down light, you know, because of the two extra lows that you can do, I do think people are going to get hit a lot. Or also cross-ups, you know, I think that's going to be another good mix-up option for him because of the size of that tail, because he can convert off it from, like, anywhere. His cross-up game does seem pretty strong. You can see you can even go into Air Launcher all the way from downtown, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm enjoying the character a lot so far. I think he's really fun to play. Uh, he does have a lot of options, so I think uh, with enough practice, uh, you're going to find... You know, a lot of variety in the way that you can play this character and the different things that you can do. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hopefully you found this informative. Let me know down in the comments, how are you enjoying Cooler? How are you enjoying Android 17? Which one do you like better? Uh, so far, they both seem strong to me. I'm having a little bit more fun with Cooler, but I think that's mainly because he's a simpler character. It's been a lot easier to pick up. 17's very complicated, so it's been a little bit hard making him work online so far just because he's kind of hard to play. But definitely, they're both really fun characters, so I want to hear how your experience is going as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to click either of the links here on screen to see more videos from me. Click the sub button so that you never miss an upload, or you can click the Patreon button to go help support me on patreon.com slash jmcrofts. So, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.